here with uh, Coach Cheesebro before the start of the outdoor season. Coach, um, a good indoor season for you guys. Let's talk about some of the highlights from the indoor season. Well, yeah, I, I believe it was the best on the men's side. Um, this was, a, they took second place, I'm sorry. And that was the best in the history of the program. So I was excited about it and still a little sad because I know the guys really wanted to win first place. And um, missing a couple of pieces, uh, Cormel Prince did an outstanding job. Double, won the four and the eight. Um, who else was outstanding? Oh shoot, indoors is over now, I forgot. But um, you know, as a whole, the guys stepped up and they did what they needed to do, and so I was excited about that. On the women's side, we had Amber Hughes that uh, stepped up and outstanding in you know the whole indoor season. Was a qualifier for nationals. She won the 50, 60, 60 hurdles. Got second in the two hundred on the long jump and the triple jump. So I mean, forty eight points there. <laughs> No, well, actually 50, 50 points even because she ran on the second place four by four. But some other people that really did outstanding was um, Christian Pryor, taking second in the women's 800, uh, had a fantastic race, went out with the leader, and I believe the, the crowd thought they was going to, the field thought they was going to pull her back in, but she held on to that second place, so excited about that. Uh, Kayla Pryor did well in her and Alexis King. I was so proud of Alexis because she made it to the finals and scored in the finals, those two. Um, so we're looking to go outdoors and qualify more in the regionals. I think that's our um, ticket right now. The biggest thing you do is qualify for the regionals. And hopefully we can do it if we have good weather this uh, weekend coming up to South Carolina. That would be the you know ideal time to go ahead and get a good number instead of chasing numbers. So that's what I kind of try to encourage the uh, student athletes to the first two track meets. Let's just put it out there, then work on some different things, and um, we don't have to chase numbers to get to the regionals. Uh, kind of a long break for some of the student athletes going from indoor to outdoor. What are you looking to see? You know, early on in the season. Well, it, uh, we had our spring break, so you know, you're a little frantic about whether they practice or not. And I think they did, the majority of them did. We had a little kind of pretest. Um, when they came, we had a test when they left, then we had, you know, a little pretest to see what kind of condition they was in. And majority of the kids, they did well. So I feel good about going into the outdoor season, um, just continue to work on their goals and, and, you know, the overall team goal is to, place in the top three in the conference and, um, you know, qualify more in the regionals. Um, and then just talk about kind of the build up, you know, for some of these, some of them, you know, Quamel and the cross country to indoor and now to outdoor, kind of trying to put everything together. Well, well cross country this year with Quamel, we kind of took another, um, we went another step up and um, he had another guy that would run with him giving him a better base for his mileage on his own. And I think that's what made the difference with with Kwame o because Kwame o is a full package athlete. He has the speed, he has the endurance, and he has the mindset to want to win. So, I mean, when you have an athlete like that, you know, it's little that you have to do as a coach. So and that's good. He's mentally and I mean the whole package. And so we started out with our cross country program and he did well his time. I think he ran a 26. That's really good for an 8K. And then came in the indoors and got athlete of the year. And I mean, he was so focused. And then when I talked about, because he wanted to win a championship. And then we uh, tried, we did a little mark me at middle. And so I put him in the four and the eight to see what type of recovery and he did well, he said he felt good, and so we decided that he would double in the conference. And that's how we went on about that. For the regionals, I mean, for the outdoor season, our goal is to um, at least run 146 to 147, so he can make it to regionals, and from regionals, he really want to make the uh, nationals. So that's his ultimate goal, making the nationals, yeah. Thanks, Coach.